Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Fuji X-T3 to recognize manual lenses. If this is your first time putting a manual lens on your Fuji X-T3, chances are nothing happened when you press the shutter button. And while you might be freaking out like I did, a little freak out. Good news is it's a really easy fix. So as you can see, I am pressing the shutter and I'm not getting any response. So the way that you're gonna fix this is make sure you're set to your video mode, go into menu, from menu go to the far left, make your way down to setup, and then over to the right into button and dial setting. From there, we're gonna make our way down to the second page, and you're gonna see shoot without lens. Change that to on, and now you can shoot. So you might be wondering what just happened. Well, seeing as this is a fully manual lens, there was no communication happening between the lens and the Fuji body. The default setting on your Fuji is made so that it actually won't work unless there is some kind of dialogue happening on those sensors. By turning the shoot without lens to on, we've now allowed your Fuji to work even though there's no dialogue happening between what it defines as a lens and the body. The nice thing about this is that you actually don't ever have to change it again. Once you've changed it from off to on, you can actually use your camera continuously, whether it's an automatic lens or a manual lens. Seems a little redundant that it's even a setting in the first place. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I just haven't quite figured it out. If you happen to know the reason why this setting is even a thing, please go ahead and list it in the comments below. Hopefully you found the solution before going out and actually shooting something for real. I learned the hard way. So when this lens finally came in, it arrived on a Friday morning and I was booked to shoot a pretty big rock concert later that night. And so when it did arrive, I was like, sweet, bonus, didn't plan on having it, really glad that I have it for tonight. So I'll just kind of throw it in my bag and thought nothing else of it. When I got there, I put my lens on my camera body and just sort of viewed it through the screen. I didn't even think to hit record, didn't think there'd be a problem. And I decided, okay, maybe I will start the shoot by grabbing a really nice wide shot of the band, getting it started, opening up, and then I'll swap lenses super quick and then we'll be good to go. Well, the lights come down and I'm ready to shoot, so I hit the shutter and nothing happens. So I kind of go into like that, that mini panic coma state where like nothing processes through your brain and your veins kind of feel cold. And I had no idea what was going on. It, it didn't make any sense to me that it wouldn't be working. So I reached down into my fanny pack. Yes, I shoot with a fanny pack where I thought I had put the original lens back and I didn't. I actually left it with the rest of my stuff at the far, far end of the concert hall with the tech booth. So I had to essentially fly off the side of the stage that I was standing on, bite my way to the back, back end of the room, swap my lenses, rebalance my gimbal, and then walk from the back end of the crowd to the front again with my gimbal like over my head. Um, taking like crowd perspective shots. I just want to point out that I am like five foot two, maybe a hundred pounds. Under no circumstance ever do I think it's a good idea to go into a crowd at a rock concert and shoot crowd perspective shots when I literally can't even stand my ground. Pretty much didn't have a choice though. So anyway, it did work out in the end. Did manage to get the footage that we needed. I had a second shooter on site who totally totally saved my ass. Uh, the moral of the story was always, always, always test your gear from the first step to the last step. So it's like not just putting it on and seeing if it runs, roll, take the card out, test it. I now do this with everything, every new cable, new card, new battery. I really test things to make sure because I don't ever want to have to relive that. The other lesson was to always make sure that my fanny pack has everything that I need. Anyway, if you got anything out of this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have anything you'd like to share, please do so in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, stay up to date with more gear reviews, freelancing tutorials, all the things about Fuji. Oh, and hit the bell so that you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching. That's a wrap. Now go out and make something awesome. Bye.